Good evening, cadets. This is Lieutenant Hotchkiss here. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to iron your uh, your uh, BDU blouse. Now, the BDU blouse, in my opinion, is the hardest. Uh, it's the hardest part of the uniform to iron, uh, mainly because there's a lot of different uh, you know places to iron, and it's actually kind of hard to you know keep it ironed. Um, however, I've overcome that and I'm going to teach you how to uh, iron it. Okay, so the items you will need. First, obviously you're going to need your BDU blouse right here. Um, you're going to need an iron right here. And you're going to need some needles. So, things like that. Okay, you're going to need those. Um, First thing you're going to need to do is remove any sort of metal you have on there. So I have my metal rank insignia on here. Um, again, I haven't got my cloth ones on yet. So I'm just going to take those and just pop those off. And just, I'm going to take those and put them over to the side. Okay, so now that I've got those off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, let's start, let's start with the pockets. Pockets are the hardest ones to iron, mainly because they're pockets. They're normally not meant to be ironed, but you got to deal with it. So first thing you're going to do is you're just going to find a nice soft spot on the, uh, over here. Okay, let's see. So, and then you're going to have, well, at least my jacket has it, you're going to have something like this. It's going to be like a crease. You're just going to push that inside like that. Then you're going to take about three or four needles. Make sure you don't poke yourself. And what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way to the edge and just put these needles in. That way it'll stay um, in that position. Now, the first needle you put in should be at the corner, and that should, that should stay. At least I hope. Just put them in all along the uh, seam that you're trying to iron. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'll get I'll get some more right here. Don't be afraid to put these in and iron over them because they're not really going to do anything. The metal might get hot, but that's about it. Okay, so I have my pins in. So you can see that? Yep, right here. So those are my pins. I'm just going to take my iron. Just go over. I'm just going to let that sit for a second. And that's going to iron that down. Now, this part up here. Um, underneath here it has buttons if you put a piece of cardboard right here it will not have the button show through so and that's actually if you have that on there and you can see the buttons through the pocket um, that's actually can be counted as a part of that uh, can be counted as a hit on your uniform so try not to do that okay so that's done now we're just going to let that sit for a second while it cools down. Um, till then, actually I think it's cool now. Yep. Now when I pull these out, just put them back in where they came from. Okay. Okay. So now I have a perfectly looking. Looks perfect. There's a little thing hanging out, but that's not too much. Yeah. All right. So that looks perfect. Next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna you can either iron this down or you can keep it how it is. I sometimes I prefer not to iron it down because it's really not that noticeable. But um, anyway, um, next thing you need to do uh, is take your bottom pockets. Or actually, you know what? Let's focus on the top right now. So what you're gonna need to do is just spread this. Out nice and nice and good. And you know what? 
I'm going to button the top button up here. This actually might help a lot. Yeah, I have a feeling it will. Alright, so now you have your BDU blouse button all the way to the top. Next thing you need to do is take some more needles out. You might actually want to leave some of these out. Just dump some of them out. You need a lot of them later. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is take... No, actually, you know what? Un don't, un don't button the top button. Just keep it frayed like this. Alright, so here's how it should look. It should look, you know, nice and played out like that. So what you're going to do is just gonna, you're going to position it the way you want it. Or the, at least the way it should be. And put your little needles in it. You should, it shouldn't require a lot of needles this time, um, just just because it's a small area that you're covering. Just didn't sound good. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I have my needles in. This one's not cooperating too much, but. You know what? I'm taking this one out just because. Okay, so you got your needles in. You just take your. Actually, you know what? You have to get both sides first. So pin them both down. On the uh, on the pre lapels or whatever you want to call them, I call it pre lapels because here's the lapel up here. Or right there, and then you have these little things under them. Okay, what the heck? All right, this one's gonna have to do. All right, so what you're gonna do now is just take your iron and go have it sit right there for a second. You can hit hiss. Now you want to start going over it. Okay, and if your shirt is as stupid as mine the needles are going to come out. So you just have to reposition them. Let it sit. Iron them. Okay, so now you have your... Just make sure you don't get burnt. It's one of the key things you want to be careful of here. Okay, so now my pre lapels are, sh are shined. Wow. Um, are ironed. Okay, so next you're going to have to work on the regular lapels. These are easier. You don't really need uh, needles for them. It's not, not the actual lapels. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to form like a. See if I can show you this. Okay, you're going to make sure it's like flat right here. So it's going to look like a straight line, and then it's going to cut off right here. That's what you're looking for. Okay. So, now take your needles. Take one, put it through here. Take another. And you're just going to go all the way down the side of the, or the back of the collar with these needles. Oh, by the way, before you wear these things, make sure you take the needles out. It's, I've never done that before, but I can imagine it would be very painful. Okay, so now you're forming this line with your uh, with your needles. And, you know what, for this, you're probably going to need a lot more needles. I'm already running out. Okay, so you're just going to go along the back of the collar with these, just so it sticks down. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh... 
Okay, so this one, this needle's just, uh, the needle went right through the, uh, pin back, so it's not good. Okay, so, like I said, just pin these through. Pin these all the way through, just so it sticks down. Take your iron, and just go over the right side. Leave it there, wait for it to start hissing, and then iron these down. And you basically have, you only actually have to put the needles in half of the uh, lapel, because it'll basically iron itself down. Okay, so now you have your, your collar done. Again, be very careful with these needles. I just stabbed myself in the finger with these ne with one of the needles. Okay. All right. All right. So after you've taken the needles out, your collar should be looking almost perfect. Might be still a little bit wrinkles in it, but you know, it's whatever. So you have your collar, collar's done. So now after, now that that is done, you can actually, if you wanted to, really take your, uh, you can take your um, collar and here and put it back on. Um, next thing, I'm almost running out of time, so there will be a part two. I'm gonna cut it off in about 30 seconds, so. All right, so next, next time, what we're gonna be working on is the the uh, rest of the pockets, the sleeves, um, the back of, of the uh, collar, and that's about it. So this is Lieutenant Hotchis out of here.